Hello, Commanders. Welcome to the Command Table. I am Mathramar, and we are going after SR-15 Jormag. We also have a bonus SR-12 build that replicates a lot of the same elements. If you like what you see here, please do like, subscribe, and if you want notifications when I drop new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those below. All right, let's show you how I've got it set up. I haven't changed a whole heck of a lot since the last time that I did this. I have uh, switched out the plague bearers that used to be right here for these warhounds. And I've also uh, re-rolled a couple of times on my primal warhorn, which is very crucial at this point. You'll notice that we've got this wounded debuff right here, 95% of maximum health. So uh, the Primal Warhorn buff, let's just pull that up real fast. It's uh, the second ascension here. You can get up to two seconds at rank four. So I've ro rolled until I got that because <laughs> it's kind of crucial for this setup. I did lose my run speed, however. So I had 45% before, so instead of readjusting all of my bombs, what I did, if I'll be able to pull one up here, I just put the run speed 1 on them, which gives me the 10%, and that way I didn't have to alter anything. So they should have about the same run speed for running in. Um, the immunity doesn't soak that wounded debuff. The Primal Warhorn one doesn't. You could use the Elixir of Immunity if you wanted to, so, you know, you throw that on and you'll be just fine. You won't have to change anything. But if you don't want to spend any elixirs, then you might as well go for that uh, second ascension. So that's the, the main things that I changed there. And then down here with the warhounds, the reason that I changed those is because even with the immunity, these bottom warhounds die very quickly. And you'll notice in the videos, just keep an eye on this frost wizard and where he shoots and this earth elemental and what direction he's aiming so by putting the warhounds in there and i may actually even move them further back as you'll see um, they give a second wave uh, pushing against these units down here to keep the focus of both the frost wizard and the earth elemental so let's go ahead and pop over and take a look at those okay so this was my first run all right, you'll notice no Warhounds. I didn't have them implemented at this point. But you'll see that the Frost Wizard shoots at my bombs. Now, it doesn't cost me the heart, which is fortuitous. But uh, I did notice that after watching the replay. And I decided, oh, I'll move my Plague Bearers up. So I tried that, but they just moved too slow. As you'll see, they just don't get close enough, and the bombs get closer, and the Earth Elemental turns around and smacks them. Again, it's not enough to affect the outcome, but it's something that I was cognizant of, and I didn't want to just uh, let that burn me in the future with some random RNG. So I did put the Warhounds in there, and now notice, the Warhounds keep that focus down there. I might even move them just a little further back, as you'll see in my SR-12 attempt coming right up here. So having figured that out, oops, let's try that again. There we go. So I did put the Warhounds here. Uh, I think this was, um, I did these after my SR-15s, and that's when I noticed that the Earth Elemental was still turning around. So I went ahead and moved them back, and that did help substantially. Now I have the same run speed on my bombs in this one as I do on my um, SR-15 profile. But uh, just to go back for a second, you'll notice, uh, just watch, watch these Warhounds down here. It's kind of hard to see with the bar in the way. But uh, having put them just a little further back, that buys just enough time to keep them alive before they die where that earth elemental focuses specifically on them. Okay, it's hard to see with that bar, I apologize, but that's this is what I've got to work with. So um, that's how it goes. And again, it uh, works fairly consistently. I think this was the third attempt. Yeah, third attempt with my SR12 profile. 
And again, just moving those Warhounds back just a little bit. They have the run speed to get there in time to hold the focus, uh, as opposed to the Plague Bearers. So losing a couple of units on the Warhorn buff, but not a big deal if it helps to get all the bombs to the target. So um, there is that. And then Anturium, he had a very clever idea. So props to our buddy Anturium. Oh, unknown error occurred. Never mind. Uh, check him out on Discord. He's uh, posted a build there that you can see using a Blessed Bomb Bot. So uh, do check that out. Very clever. Always coming up with good stuff. So thanks to our buddy Anturium for that. Uh, sorry that it didn't download. We will uh, figure that out later. Anyway, please do like and subscribe. And check out the commandtable.com where we have tutorials, raid strats, and in the near future we will have merchandise and comic strip. Thanks for watching.